Well, hello everybody. Are you there? Can you hear me? It's gonna start right now, Nathaniel. It's gonna start right now. <laughs> I set up a little different setup. Um, we got 13 people watching. Good to see you all already. Hope you're all hanging in there. I got a new setup over here. What's up, Aiden? Mike Rose, Rob B, my wife and I shaving.com, Mr. Noir, I am still abiding, thank you. Tyler Wilkins, Hatimi Nadifi from Morocco. Cheers to Morocco, wearing my dude sweater. Hunter123, ADAP, Muhammad Amr, good to see you. Apur Padye, good to see you too, brother. Good to see all the old friends. This is a, a not a flattering angle, I'm getting too much of a double chin. <laughs> Craig Prince, good to see you. Milo the Gamer, Gary Landsman, Long Island, New York, Nathan Cruz. Well, we had a little bit of a cold snap. Tim's here, good to see you for the love of the shave. Bill E, RKO out of nowhere. High Games Drifter, <laughs> that's cool. David Kimberly, Chris Gora Sr. I'm drinking a little bit of scotch and coke tonight, a little beetle drink. All the ordinary shaver, ordinary shaver, look what I'm drinking, Doer's White. Look at this. This is what coronavirus has led me to. The giant quart. I think this is this a quart. I don't know, it's a giant bottle. <laughs> hey now, that's right, Tom. This is what's in here. Look how much I've drunk in the past two weeks. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Everybody, yeah, make sure everybody is six feet apart. I'm six feet from the house over here. As you can tell, I'm never six feet from the jug handle. That's right, Mike. How you doing, Trafalgar D. Law? Currently drinking some Johnny Walker Red. There you go. In New Orleans. Good to see you, New Orleans. We got Morocco. Mm. Mr. Noir has a full quarantine beard. How do, I, how do I drink mine? Normally I drink mine with, on the rocks, but tonight I mix it with some scotch. I mean, with some Coke. Scotch and Coke. It's a beetle drink. It is 48 degrees Fahrenheit here. Hey, Paul Buckley. Good to see you. So I got my sweater on. Thank you, Milk Boogie. <laughs> Never too far from the jug handle. Ah, Rafael Leal Santos. Good to see you. My friend down there. Uh, where are you again? Down South America? Oh, from China, Anan, Anan. Hello, China, no face mask? No, not, not here on the porch. You don't need a face mask on the porch. What's your 20? Austin, Texas here. Drinking Black Label. Good to see you, Budget Shaver. Can't beat a good Scotch whiskey, that's right, William. Brazil, that's right, Brazil. Oh, the women down in Brazil, beautiful. Here's to the women in Brazil and everywhere else. Tulsa, Oklahoma's in the house, Griff. Griff's turn 21, folks. I'll send you uh, the last bit of scotch in this bottle for you there, Griff. This is what coronavirus has, has brought me to. I've just been walking around the house doing that. Not really. UK, good to see you, Matthew. It's late. It's late in the UK. It's hard for me to do these live streams because I don't want it to be too late. But it's, what, three, almost three in the morning there? Texas is beautiful. The woman and I delivered a truck there. There you go. May I ask? Yes, you may ask something. That's yes, you may. Can I? Should I call you father? Should I call you pastor? What should I call you? Up the UK now. I did. In case you didn't notice, I did change the thumbnail for the one where I was thanking May because I was like doing this, and I know in England, in the UK, that's like. <clears throat> so I changed that to me going like this. Ah, oh, Las Vegas is closed. You better reopen that. I'm coming in August for my 50th birthday. All right, I'm coming. To hello Russia, razor blade over in Russia. Well, you're welcome, TJ. My pleasure getting you into wet shaving. Hello, Apollo, Michigan. Good to see you. Real name reveal. You'll have to find my other channel. You better, yeah, it's late there where you are. Poor. Well, what time is it there? Start with Kalu in your coffee, switch midday to vodka and whatever. <laughs> okay, I'll, well, I'll call you, Rob. Russian blades are your favorite. Mike says he loves the Russian blades. Best whiskey, in my opinion. You can't really say can't really say um, it depends on your taste uh, my you can have a favorite whiskey I know you play guitar what kind of amplifier you run I'm all about orange oh well I I love me some fender tube amps I, I just uh, the newest one I've been messing with was the fender blues junior tube amp 
it's small, but it sounds beautiful, and you can crank it up and you can have it clean or have a high gain. Cheers, St. Augustine, NY Diesel in Florida. Call you dear friend, RS. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Cheers from Orlando. How in the United States are you seeing the actions of the Brazilian government against the pandemic? You know, I haven't been um, paying attention to how Brazil is handling it. Could you could you let us know? I, I don't want to turn this into a, because that's all that's on the news. I don't want to turn it into a, you know, talking about what's going on these days. <laughs> Let's not talk about what's going on these days. That's what this hangout is for. But, uh, yeah. All right, let me see. Man, today was a day to forget. Little man fell out of the bed. Oh, ordinary shaver. How old's your little guy? That was always a, you know, I've got two that are asleep. In that room behind me back here. That's why I had to move. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. I'm drinking. I just started. This is my first drink. I'm not drunk anymore. I'm not drinking anymore, and I ain't drinking any less. No, no, no that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Raphael, it's all right. Jack Daniels. I like to drink Jack Daniels when I'm in Las Vegas. That's kind of my Las Vegas dream, because I'm trying to do the Sinatra thing, you know, and that was his choice. Let's see. Am I essential? I am essential. I'm essential. That's why I have to still go to work. What sports teams do I follow? Well, it's it, it's <laughs> it's embarrassing to say, but I'm going to say it because I've loved them since I was a kid. The Houston Astros. That's all I'll say about it right now. It's it's a hard time for us fans. Okay. Let's see. Oh, thank you, the Pink Floyd. You like that? No, I've never heard of the bromance. Bromance or bromance? Bromance? S.E. Razor? Still getting plenty of voiceover work? Um, I did an audition the other day, but I've just got the normal gig right now that I do every day, five days a week. Milwaukee Dan, good to see you. Good to see you, Daniel Hughes. You got the Everyman Jack Menthol. Hopefully it won't suck, yeah. Let's see, Sports Center have been playing a lot of the old world. Yeah, it's funny to watch what they're doing, what the sports guys are doing, like showing old sports you're like oh sorry you're, you're sitting on a chair so if you see this little wobbliness in the camera it's just because you're on a on an outdoor chair that's got a little bit of a of a bounce let's see you thought it was gonna say cleveland browns yeah <laughs> i guess cleveland browns fans have got it worse than i do um let's see are you a fan of pink floyd i do like some of their work but i don't like get deep into pink floyd hello scented soldier shaves good to see you brother Hanging in there, still putting out the good content. You guys need to check out his channel if you haven't. Hello, Vancouver. Thank you, Yakiv. Yakiv Yolnitzer. I hope I mispronounced that correctly. Oh, yeah, how's David Crosby? I was actually checking in on uh, on Twitter to see how Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney are doing. They seem to be doing fine. They're, I'm sure they're not doing anything like the rest of us in the whole world. This is the great equalizer, isn't it? We're all doing almost the exact same thing, which is nothing. Even the most rich and famous. Howdy, Jay Jones. Shane Sharp vlogs, working from home. No, no, I, I still have to go in. Lee Hazley in Thailand. Good to see you. First thing in the morning there. And your job just ceased to exist for five months. I know. It's a crazy time. What's it like having a cool voice? I'm 31 and I'm sound 12. I don't know. I just always had it. I do appreciate it, though. I do appreciate having a, the voice that I have. I feel blessed and I'm very, very appreciative that it allows me to to pay the bills, strangely enough. Let's see, I'm, I'm scrolling through here to see. My favorite whiskey, my favorite daily drinking whiskey, like if I'm just going to have a little bit and not think about it too much, is Famous Grouse. I love Macallan, like 10, 12 year, 15 year if I could afford it. It's too expensive. 18 I tried once, it was great. <clears throat> Spring Bank is a good single malt. <clears throat> I don't drink too much bourbon. I pretty much stick to scotch. All right, let's see. Scrolling back. Scented Soldier Shaves is the man. That's right, the budget shaver. Let's see. Gene eats barbecue. Hey, I eat some barbecue. We were able to order some Franklin barbecue very easily. You just order it online and go pick it up. They put it in your trunk. They don't even touch your car. It's the best. Oh, I got it. I almost got it right, Yakov. Close enough. <laughs> Muhammad, good to see you. Good evening from Wales. Just went clean shaved for the first time in six years. Wow. 
use the safety razor. Did it? It must have been rough on your skin for the first time in six years. And you know, it always, whenever I would let my beard grow and then I'd drink a can drink, like a beer or something, it'd be like, oh, I can feel it on my lip now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, McCallum is fantastic, William. Let's see, uh, Hatim Nadifi really inspired me to start wet shaving just with my departed grandpa. Well, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I'll have to listen to Dire Straits and drink bourbon with your dad. There you go, Mr. Noir. Have a good one. I do do voiceovers. LDNF, Luis. I do voiceovers. Not radio. Not radio. Do you listen to Creedence? I love Creedence. I don't listen to a lot of it. It's one of those ones that I do like that, that style, and I love the way he sings and plays. Bullet Rise, good. How tall am I? I'm 5 foot 11. You still need to send me your address so I can send it. Yes, please send me some cigars. Send it so I will. Uh, email me at sinatralennon at gmail.com and uh, I'll get you my address. What about Black Sabbath? Now, they always kind of scared me when I was a kid, so I never, you know, I never got into Black Sabbath. <laughs> they always scared me too much. Isn't that dumb? Kiss scared me too when I was a kid. In the 70s, it was like, oh my God, what do you got? Let's see, I've never met Ken Serves, but I do have his phone number. Uh, and I, I said I'd love to pick your brain sometimes, so uh, maybe I should give him a call. Let's give Ken a call. Let's see what he's doing. No, I'm not going to call him. No, <laughs> not out of the blue. But I do have his phone number so I can talk to him because I would love to meet him. Oh, man, excuse me. All right, let me look here. Hey, Nick 8 bit BP. 8 BP. Hi, David Williams. Good to see you. Bill E, you got his new uh, Slim Adjustable. Tim up in Maine. Alex is falling asleep on the couch. How you doing, girl Alex? Long time no see, no hangout. But here we are back again. Oh, Kenny Rogers is great. Oh, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. I'm gonna have to put my hat on for Kenny Rogers, even though he didn't really wear a hat. Put on my gambler hat for Kenny. Am I doing movie trailers? No, I wish I was. You're five foot eleven in the morning, <laughs> and then what happens? You walk around too much. Ah. Oh, Aggie Land. Yeah, I haven't had a reason to go there. My my friend is a teacher there at uh, Texas A&M University. She's an English teacher. Of course, she's doing it online right now. My version of Eclipse. I'm not even familiar with that song. Hmm. What's my favorite Beatles riff or song to play? I love playing Blackbird. I love playing Don't Let Me Down. I've never seen Frankie Valli in Four Seasons. I don't smoke cigarettes and I barely ever smoke cigars. I smoke a pipe maybe four times a year. Memphis barbecue. Gene eats barbecue. He's eating that dry rub Memphis style barbecue. Favorite thing about the UK? Hmm. I just love being over there, you know? It's so different and interesting, but everybody speaks the same language, so it's so easy. I love going, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, I love going shopping at Waitrose or um, the little corner shops, you know, the little, what, what we would call stores over here. I love looking at all the prepackaged sandwiches that you have over there, like the weirdest stuff. Like, over here we have, like, turkey and tuna and pimento cheese, and over there you have, like, crayfish and rocket and, uh, you know, like, Thanksgiving dinner. You know, it's, I love that. It's, it's, it's a simple, silly thing, but I do love it. Oh, thank you. I, I don't speak Portuguese down there in Brazil, but that we do have a, uh, 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 my good friend, uh, uh, Pastor, uh, uh, dang it, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but he's in there. You can talk to him in chat. You got another Brazilian brother in the chat. Thank you, Mike. Favorite movie? I don't know. Star Wars? The Jerk? Not sure. I, there's too many to name. Are you ever cold in Texas? Yeah, it gets cold here. It's, I mean, it's kind of cool right now. It's 48 degrees Fahrenheit, so it, it's kind of cool. What age did my beard come out? I don't know, maybe like 12 or 13? Waitrose and Offies. <laughs> the Sex Pistols. Wait, who died on March 20th? Eduardo. Who did the sound of silence better? Simon and Garfunkel disturbed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I've heard disturbed version. I didn't say Simon and Garfunkel. Favorite restaurant in Austin? Oh boy, that's, that's hard. Franklin's is the best barbecue. There's too many good Mexican food joints to name. I don't know. I can't say. I can't say. 
Uh, have I ever been to German Street in London? I don't know if I have or not. I went to Denmark Street um, to check out the guitar stores years ago, but I don't, I don't know if I ever went to German Street. Oh yes, uh, uh, Rafael, they, uh, there's another Brazilian uh, in, in the chat that's speaking in Portuguese. I don't, but I can't speak it or understand it. <laughs> I can speak a little bit of Spanish and understand a little bit more of Portuguese. I have not tried Gerlain Vetiver. Faber Razor, 195 or Rockwell? Yes, they are my favorite. Do I like Bud Light? I don't ever drink Bud Light. When I go, for, I don't drink beer much at all. But when I do drink beer, I like to drink like real heavy dark beers, like porters and stuff like that. So, how's how's my hair? Just took a shower, did my hair. Oh yeah, German Street. That's right. They, they had the tailors, right? Yeah, great. Suit. Oh, Bill Withers. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Bill Withers. He passed away. John Prine, man. I'm I'm holding out hope that John Prine is going to be okay because he is one of the finest. American singer-songwriters, fantastic sense of humor. His songs are unbelievable. If you've never heard or listened to John Prine, but you enjoy kind of singer-songwriter style stuff, look him up immediately as soon as this live stream is done. Do I prefer Badger Brush or Boar Brush? I prefer Synthetic. Oh, put s subtitles in. Um, I'm not sure how to do that, Raphael. I'm not sure. But um, I'll look it up and see. Uh, there's got to be an easy way, right? But I thought YouTube just automatically put subtitles in. Oh, Kenny Rogers. Yes, he passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. What recent voiceovers have I done? What have I done? <sighs> seems like it's been a while. It seems like forever. The past three weeks have seemed like forever. My brain's a little cloudy. <sighs> Let's see here. All right, Mike, taking off. Good to see you. Hashtag wetheads. Hashtag Barbasol Patrol. Hashtag um, Fat Boy Club. I don't know. That's the only Parker I own, Paul. This is the 99R. Houston. My hometown. Good old Houston. Hold it down. Hold it down back in H-Town. Ever pay a Fender Flame? I've never heard of a Fender Flame. Need some Janis Joplin with that drink? Janis Joplin likes to drink Southern Comfort. She spent some time in Austin in the 60s. Yes, John Prine, Lucinda Williams, all those folks, that's right. Synthetic Nathaniel is fantastic. I I think it beats all natural bristle brushes because it's easy, it's forgiving, it's fantastic, it's, it's great. And it doesn't have that weird, funky smell that, that Badger does. Blackbird is perfect. If you play it, I would play your version for my birthday party in marriage. Oh, well, I'd have to record it like you know, like properly for you to do that. Johnny Crook Cash is great. <laughs> I should call up Ken. Should I call up Ken? I got Ken's phone number. What time's in California? It's only seven o'clock in California. Uh, what would I say to him? I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm sh I'm too shy. Hi, Dominic. What am I going to go to the store and see your face on a can of Barbasol? I don't know. You, you. I was hoping they might do that. Barbasol is still listening, and they're not mad at me for using cease and desist from Phoenix Accoutrement. Good, Harris County holding it down. You listen to David Bowie? I do love a lot of David Bowie. I don't listen to, you know, he's part of that um, orbit of songs and musicians that I kind of dip into every now and then, but I don't have it on permanent rotation, you know. What product do I use in my hair? I use some mousse first. And then I use some hairspray. Uh, I think it's just, what is it? I can't remember the brand. It's like in a, in a burgundy colored bottle. It just it doesn't matter. See how I can, they told me to call you. <laughs> What's my fascination with Barbasol? I, I just always use it and I love it. I love the scent. I just always used it. If you call him, tell him Aiden says hi. <laughs> Text him. Oh, I could text him. That'd be, you know what? That'd be better. Be better than calling because he may be in the middle of dinner or something. Maybe in the middle of shaving. I don't know. Try Barbas. Never heard of that. My favorite shampoo. What do I use? Pert. 
pert, I think. I think it was pert. When you go to work in a sound booth, what do you do? I do voiceovers. I do voiceovers. I know, you don't have Barbasol where you are. Barbasol's hard to get outside the U.S. Hi, Jason Clapp. I'm staying safe. We're staying safe. Washing hands. Ugh. Queen, fantastic. Oh, good old Dean Martin and some old blue eyes. Can't beat that. Well, the barber's not open. Might have to take a seat. Yeah, I'm glad I got my hair cut fairly recently, or else I'd be driving myself crazy. Tom Holland said, John Prine's awesome. I'm a guitar player over in Ireland. Got into wet shame because of your shave every day. See, I know, isn't that weird? Yeah, I love playing guitar, Tom. What's your favorite guitar? Acoustic? What, what's your favorite acoustic? How about that? Pert? Oh, Suave. Thank you, Budget Shaver. Suave. I think I showed that in one of my videos, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We got a ton of rain today. And it's supposed to rain for the next seven and a half days. Which is kind of nice because then it, you know, kind of breaks up the monotony. If it was like hot and sunny and like 100 degrees, it would make all of this situation worse. I love this kind of cool weather. It's nice and cool. That's why I wanted to get out of here. That's why I'm wearing the, my dude sweater and hanging out with y'all. Used to be part of the Tom. I love Tom Petty. Tom Petty. Oh, I still miss Tom Petty. Tom Petty. Love him. Every man Jack shaving cream. Good. Romulan ale is good for these guys. That's right. <laughs> Strat. Oh, there you go. Good old Strat. Can't go wrong with a Strat. Give us a voiceover of your last session in the old booth. You gotta pay me first. <laughs> Get out of here. Breaks up the pollen, sorry, ro washes away the pollen. Yeah, Jimmy Neutron, I know, I know. It's not, it's, it doesn't look too bad right now. Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. When you posted the first video about your craziness, I could hear in your voice. I know, oh, that was, I think it was, it was like Tuesday of last week, Tuesday or Wednesday. I felt like my blood pressure was so high. I was so stressed out and it was just like, oh, and thank God I got that under control and I've been much better since then. But man, those two days, just like, I'm going to go crazy. I am going to go nuts. And I'm starting to kind of be like more Zen-like and just do my little part, you know, and that's all we can do, right? Yeah, it sucks. Your mom gave you your name after, named after Julian Lennon. I'll see days, Julian. Is it Julian I'll see days? Budget Shaver got a Les Paul. There you go. Can't go wrong with a good Les Paul. Jackson Brown. You know, I was never, I know, I'm not a Jackson Brown guy. I do admire him, and I do like a couple of his songs, but I wouldn't call myself a Jackson Brown guy. It's weird. I like the Eagles. I know that's not cool, but I love the Eagles. I love Jimmy Buffett. I know that's not cool. Of course, I love the Beatles, Sinatra, Dean Martin. I love, I love, I mean, I love a ton of stuff. I don't have one particular thing that, uh, Doctor My Eyes. That, that one, I, that one kind of, been, I, I'm not into that song, but, you know, it can't be into every song, right? And if you like it, that's great. I, I don't, I don't put anybody's music down unless it's like, I don't know, one of these new Korean pop bands like BTS is that what they call it? that's just if it's manufactured then yeah I don't, I don't know you and all your family are my prayers well thank you thank you Rafael my dear friend in Brazil you're a good man you've got a good family and I hope you all stay safe because we could all use all the prayers we can get right now right whether you believe or not and whatever you believe in it's good it's good for your brain it's good for your heart Almond Brothers? No, no, never into Almond Brothers, Robert. That was the one I didn't get in. Didn't get much into Southern Rock. Ooh, we got a cool breeze. I like it. Oh, you know what I need to do? Hold on, I've got to light some incense because this is one of my things I do. When it's, when it's cold outside, I like to light incense. So I'm just gonna go right in here and I'm gonna show you this cool Zippo lighter that I got and I'm gonna light some incense right near me so I can smell it as I talk to you. Hold on, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, got a stick of incense, or as they used to say in England, a joss stick. 
and I got my old Zippo lighter. So this is an old Zippo lighter that I've had since the 90s. I think it was made in 1992. There's a date code where you can actually date the thing. It's got like an X, what is it? XIII, the Roman numeral. So you can date that. I think it's like either early 90s. Anyway, I've had it forever. And then I just now realized, and I don't smoke, so I don't really use it, it just sits in a drawer. And then I realized, I was looking online, and they've got an insert, so you take your old Zippo, I've got the, and the, then see this? This is not the normal, this is made by Zippo, this thing, the insert, but it's not the normal, it's a jet. It's a jet. Isn't that cool? Ooh, give a cool breeze. All right, let's light this jaw stick. I don't know what it is. I've just, ever since I was a single guy, I've loved the smell of incense. And I, I don't even smoke pot to cover it up, you know? It's like that one, one of my friends says, you're the only person I know that uses incense that doesn't smoke pot all the time. Yeah, funny, okay. Let me go back in up here. What do we got? All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Eagles Rule, yes, I did watch that uh, Netflix documentary on there. It was fascinating. Bob Dylan is great. You miss concerts, oh boy, ah. Oh, is Ozzy not doing well? I've never tried St. John's Ward. Tori wants to see some more music videos. Cornelius, you should buy yourself a Gillette Slim, Slim Twist. Rolling Stones, can't beat them. I have seen yesterday Vance's how-tos and reviews. It's a fantastic movie, I loved it. I loved it more than I thought I would. I thought it'd be like, meh, but I liked it. Yeah, I, I can get some of those high notes. I can get some of those Paul McCartney almost high notes. Starfleet 2432. Oops. Use Daxton safety razor blades when shaving and wash your hands. Yep, that's right. Gas prices. Yeah. <laughs> Craig, 1974. That's good. Nobody is running on empty, running long. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Nope. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. All right, what do we got here? Oh, good. Yeah, prayer, keep you calm. That's right. Is a Texan, do I enjoy listening to SRV? You know, I've come to appreciate him more over the years. I'm not a big blues guy, but I mean, my God, he is unbelievable guitar player. Another Austinite, got a statue of him downtown. Let's see. Good, lights and insects, Craig Prince. Man, tell you what, Chris, when this is all back to normal, I'm traveling everywhere I can. I'm going to Syracuse. I'm going to Vegas, I'm going to the Bahamas, I don't, I'm, just, I'm just going to the store. I'm walking around the store like this, touching everything, hugging people. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not even, I don't even have a buzz yet. I need to start drinking this faster. I'm just having a good time talking to y'all. Oh, we got a lot of good people watching. We got a lot of good friends from over the years and some new ones too, it's great. You have an old Japanese folk acoustic from the 60s that your first guitar teacher sold you. It's very sentimental. Is this... Oh, he was badly burned off. Oh, that's always my fear. Does it sound good, Tom? Joining you with a redemption rye over ice. Cheers, everybody. I'm drinking... Let me show you. I got the handle of Dewar's. I'm almost out. I got to make a run tomorrow. This is two and a half weeks worth of drinking. Almost every night. Not too much, because I can't do that anymore. I just can't. Sucks. I get a hangover just like I could drink this one drink and get a hangover. It's terrible. Let's see. I want Sinatra Lennon to say, "Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down." <laughs> oh man. Like typo negative. I'm not. I'm not familiar with them. Is that that's the band, right? Typo negative. Oh yeah, we got it going on, didn't we, baby? What do you want me to say, baby? Lock the door and turn the lights down low. How's that? Is that close enough? Love smoking pot, anonymous user. Good job. What type of incense? Um, I think this is sandalwood. I think that's the one I prefer. Sandalwood. So like a woody incense, not a fruity one, you know? Stevie Ray, yeah. Uh, I talked about him just a minute ago. Oh, thank you. Okay. My hair is on point. It kind of is on point. That's why I like keep keeping it this uh hey jay jones 
if you saw Paul McCartney in 2013, I was in the audience. I was there both nights. Why didn't you come say hi? Come on, man. Don't be shy. I was there both nights. I haven't tried the Rex Ambassador. Dwight Yoakam. Love Dwight Yoakam. I can't change the color of the butane. It's just blue. That's the way butane burns. You want me to grab my guitar and sing some songs? B.B. King is great. I do like Michael Jackson. Even though, you know, it's, it's, you know, you, when you start... I can separate the man from the creation, you know? The man from the music. Like, whatever he was accused of. I love Michael Jackson in the 80s. I mean, who didn't? Everybody loved him, right? It's one of those things. It's one of those things. Your liquor stores are closed. Are you insane? How's it going, Jackson Coles? Doing good? Danzig? No, I never got into Danzig. That was never in my, uh, in my wheelhouse. All the best, Bill E. Good night. I don't have any stock, unfortunately. I think my wife does. I'm going, yes, right, I'm going back to Chicago, Alex. I'm going to meet you at your house, and I'm going to hang out with you and your husband on the couch, and then I'm going to snore. <laughs> yeah, dying back, Daryl. That's a tragedy, man. It's terrible. I do reply to emails, Stephen. What time is it? It is 9.16 p.m. Have I tried proper No 12 Irish whiskey? No. Love Elvis, John. Love him. Absolutely love Elvis. What's the longest my hair has been? It's been pretty long. It's been like when I was like 32. It was like down to here. It, it was pretty long. That's when I was single, young and single, good looking. About 25 pounds lighter. <laughs> Oops. All right. Play some Bo Diddley, good, some good old blues there. Do a review of the collapsible towel? <laughs> I gotta see this. You mean bowl. I'm sure it's supposed to be bowl, right? <laughs> I, w I want a collapsible towel. <laughs> All my towels collapse. They just collapse. You're not gonna call Ken Sears. Let's call Paul H. Well, it, it's way too late to call Paul. I don't have his phone number. I only have Ken's phone. My favorite shave soap? It's gotta be margaritas in the Arctic, right? Hello, Quebec. Gaetan Pilon. Good to see you up there in Quebec. Bonjour. Seasonal soap called Fireworks. Yeah, the, you know, there's that Texas on Fire, which is like a smoky scent. Oh, Pennsylvania. You know, Don, that's the weird thing, because my wife is from Pennsylvania, so I spent a bunch of time up there. And that is the, your liquor store setup is so strange. Like, yet yeah, you can buy beer and only at one place and then you could buy wine and something else at another it's like you gotta go to six different places to get what you want and some are then they're all state run ah, it's, it's confusing the only weird thing we have here in Texas is that they're closed on Sundays and the liquor stores close at 9 o'clock yeah. but yeah Pennsylvania is tough that's why I like to go down to the wall wall and get the Hagies <laughs> that's my bad Pennsylvania accent I don't even know if it's right Conor McGregor, Conor, Conor McGregor, Donny Os, wait, Donny Osmond, what? Donny Osmond's your favorite singer. Really? Starfleet? I mean, that's great, that's cool if he is, but I think you're joking. I think you're, I think you're kidding me. Hippie hair version of me, I know. And with a goatee, imagine me with a goatee and hippie hair. I need, okay. All right, you guys want to have your minds blown? I mean, like, totally blown? I'm going to show you the one and only headshot I've ever had from when I was 30 years old, okay? This is so ridiculous. Hold on. I got my phone. Let's have some... Oops. Oh, there we go. Oh, you are not going <laughs> to... You guys... <laughs> Remember, this is this is nearly twenty years ago. Good God, good God, man! This is this it is twenty years ago. Hi, everybody! Let's shave. You guys want to shave? <laughs> this is what time does to you, folks. This is what children do, do to you. I was good looking. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that kid. Hey, everybody. Hey, ladies. How's it going? 
Oh, it was fun. I had a lot of fun back then. A lot of fun. I was in a band. I was single. Woo. <laughs> I'm having more fun now, though. More fun right now. All right, let me look here. Ah, famous people I've met. Oh, you met Don Rickles. Let's see. Famous people I've met. I've, I've shaken hands with Willie Nelson. I did a high five with Bill Clinton one time. Um, I've met Mike Judge, the guy who created Beavis and Butthead and, and all those other things. Office Space. Um, let's see. Who else have I met? I, I high five Ringo, Ringo Starr. I gave him a high five. I saw him, and I clapped him on the shoulder. It was he was. I saw a theater in the round. Uh, who else have I met? Dennis Quaid, uh, R. Lee Ermey. I walked down a, a flight of stairs right next to him one time. Uh, the guy that played Danny Noonan in Caddyshack. I was around him one time. A lot of them, actually. Walter Cronkite. I, met, I got Walter Cronkite's autograph once back in the eighties. Okay, let me let me scoot back up here. All right, let me read some of these. What part of Texas? I'm in Austin. Greetings from Philly. Some of you was from Pittsburgh. Oh, Jill's here. Hey, she shaves with Jill is here. Good to see you. Sorry, I'm just scrolling back. I love Chuck Berry. I, oh, Chuck Berry. I got Chuck Berry's autograph once. I, when I was handing him the thing to sign, I touched his hand, and he was a human being like everybody else. <laughs> Sugar or salt on my grits? I don't eat grits. Butter. Butter and salt, though. I mean, when I do, on a very rare occasion, butter and salt. Liquor emporiums, that's right. Down here in Texas, we have liquor warehouses, baby. Let's see. Michael Jackson's Off the Wall album is great, you're right. What's up, Ethan? Ethan Tran? I look like Mr. McAllister. <laughs> that's right. Thank you, American Street. I do kind of, you're right. What a, what a funny guy. I've never tried a natural herb for stress. Hello, Portland, Maine. Paul Valley up there. One Love 714 is into Johnny Cash. Thank you, Ethan Tran. Glad, glad you're here. Suffolk, England. Good to see you, Doug. You're up way too late or way too early. Let's see. Vance's how-tos and reviews is 30. Yes. Julian McCon. Mine is Dominic's mind is blown. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> you look like a buddy of yours, huh? Game misconduct. That's funny. Look like an extra on the set of Tombstone. That's good. Drink something called kefir. Kefir. Kefir? God bless you. What kind of phone do I have? Just an iPhone 8. Looks like Jared Leto a little bit. It was 20 years ago today. Marty Robbins is great. Good, Stephen. I'll, I'll check your email after this is all done. You met Vinny Paul from Pantera. There you go. Whiskey or bourbon? Scotch whiskey. Good looking as a kid. I'll tell you what happened to me. 20 years happened to me. 20 years and two kids and a wife. <laughs> That's what happened to me. And a shaving channel. I don't know if we have a mullet. No, they no, wasn't a mullet. You want to meet Seth? Mc well, don't meet your heroes. Oh, Sandra Bullock. Sandra. Oh, I gotta show you this picture of me and Sandra Bullock from that same time period. Have I ever showed you guys this? Hold on, let me let me try to get you know, young Steve Jobs kicked in the nuts by Paul. Price is wrong. See, I try to keep. I don't use cuss words anymore. I use way too many cuss words in real life. Lone Star State beer, babes, and dirt bikes. <laughs> Thank you, Sun Rising Soul. Where are you down in South Texas? You down in like uh, Brownsville area? Kefir, Kefir. Hi, Toronto. You met Ted Nugent? You have seen the picture with Sandra? I'm gonna show it again, Alex. Because it's, I love it. I, I was had such a huge crush on Sandra Bullock. North Texas? Yeah, my dad lives up in the Dallas area, okay. Let me find my picture of me and Sandra Bullock in 2001, about the same time that picture was taken. Hi, Tucson. John Maloney up in Tucson. Okay. Uh, 
2001. Let's see if it pops up. Whoa, a bunch of pictures from 2001. It's crazy. Isn't it crazy you can just get something off the phone and it's just there? I know it's in here somewhere. I know it is. Oh, my friend. My birthday, my 31st birthday. Was it 2002? No, I think it was... Two, it might have been 2000 that I met her. <coughs> oh. Sometimes you see pictures on your phone you forgot. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, ladies. Um, pardon me while I look at my phone. I'm trying to find a picture of me and Sandra Bullock. So it's important. Oh, here's a picture of me in the Astrodome. In 2001. That's me in the empty Astrodome. I just walked down in there. It's not interesting. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's me and Sandra Bullock in 2001. Don't we look like a cute couple? Let me, there we go. Look at that. That's like the biggest smile you've ever seen on that face. Look at that. Look at her. And the cool thing was, I had such a huge crush on her, and and then I saw her, and it we had a, it was a great experience. It was like she was so nice, and she was kind of playful. I don't know if she was a little drunk. This was at a music awards thing. Uh, no, my band had won best cover band that year. We were we were the Beatles cover band, and uh, yeah, cute couple, Alex. Don't be jealous. It's okay. You're my new favorite. <laughs> anyway. It's me and Sandra Bullock in 2001. All right, that's enough. That's enough of that. But anyway, yeah. Okay, it's time to refill. I'm a dirty dog. I think she kind of liked me. I think I was her type. The way she was being so playful, you know, it was kind of flirty. She was kind of flirtatious. It was a fun night. It was a party night. My band had won that year. I was on top of the world. And I got to meet my absolute celebrity crush. Do you guys have any celebrity crushes right now? Hold on, I'm your favorite celebrity. <laughs> this is how you mix a drink, folks. If you got a hangnail, it'll uh, take care of that. Let's see, you met Bigfoot once. <laughs> my NFL team, the Houston Oilers, of course. Hi from Newcastle in the UK. Graham, Muse, I'm staying safe. I hope you do too. Sandra Bullock, I think of Speed. That's where I fell in love with Sandra Bullock. Doing you a solid and watching the intro ads. There's my two cents. Thank you, Mike. Demi Moore. Oh, Demi Moore. Ah, I know. No, I haven't killed it yet. There's still a few ounces left. That'll make me last through tonight, and then I'll go back tomorrow. So this is what I've been drinking out of the past week and a half. Two weeks, actually. I don't normally buy the jug handle, but I knew I didn't want to go back to the liquor store a bunch of times. Excuse me. Cole Powers up in Michigan. Good to see you. Let's go Chiefs. There you go. My wife, uh, my wife's mother's from the Kansas City area. I love Kansas City, so go Chiefs. <laughs> Even if you type your celebrity crush's name, your old lady will know somehow. I know. How long have I been doing the uh, shave videos? Since I think 2011, so about nine years now. I know. Ten year anniversary coming up, strange. Jennifer Love Hewitt and Audrey. Oh, Audrey Hepburn. Can I tell you, Troy, when I was in London in 2006, uh, my mom was there. My stepdad is in the oil business, so they lived there for about a year, so I got to go and visit for a couple of weeks. And uh, I think it was Sotheby's auction house, it was near her flat in uh, uh, South Kensington and I walked down there I just like oh Sotheby's I'm gonna go check it out and they were auctioning off Audrey Hepburn's dress from breakfast at Tiffany's and it was just there on a mannequin in the middle of the room you know there was a rope surrounding it but it wasn't in glass or anything and I walked right up and was staring at Audrey Hepburn's dress the most famous little black dress in the world she was tiny that dress was tiny so, yeah, that's my, that's as close as I'll ever get to Audrey Hepburn. Columbia, Missouri here, so Chiefs, there you go, good old Chiefs. Andrew, ha, Andrew, go Saints, yeah, my brother's a huge Saints fan, he's the hugest Saints fan. Andrew Hags, is it Hags or Hobbs? 
I'm 18 and you inspire me to shave with a safety razor. When I was 16, I shared it with my dad. We bought. Oh, that's great. That's what I love about this. That this was. That's the the unforeseen result of of this whole thing for me is that I get people like you that tell me that sort of thing, and it's just fantastic. I love it, and I also love like there've been a few moms that have autistic sons. And when their son came of age and they needed to shave, they needed to learn how to help them shave. And they watched my videos and they said it really helped. So that's, that's why I do this sort of thing. For y'all and for the community, you know, I'm, when I say the community, like this, all of you that are hanging out here, it's great. So I'm glad you, I'm glad that I could help in some small way. You know who would have thought that the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl would be for that? Yeah. Send me some brisket, and I'll send you a Wawa Hagee. All right, Don B, it's a, it's a deal, brother. West of Corpus Christi, good old Corpus Christi Bay down there. Denver Broncos fan, go Packers, go Packers. This, this incense is, like, too strong. I need to move it away. Let's see, where can I put it? It's like in this planter right next to me. It's choking me, it's too much. Hold on, pardon me. All right, let me see. I'm old and unashamed. I do like those superhero type girls on the CW. Better yet, any female who was on Firefly or Dark Matter. I imagine you made your feet. Yeah, I did. I agree. You like the Mach 3? Any good at golf? You know, I am very good for never playing. I don't ever play, but when I do, I do pretty well. So if I played, I'd be great. I'd make of that what you will. As a kid in the 50s in Southern California, in case you see the actor who played Sergeant Garcia in the old Zorro, not that. <laughs> Easy shooter, that is a, like, <laughs> that's like a deep cut. That is a deep cut celebrity. <laughs> I love it. I've got a picture of me and Dennis Quaid. You want to see a picture of me and Dennis Quaid? That's weird. I'm a South Jersey boy, and you just said Wawa. I, well, I love Wawa because in the in Pennsylvania, Mike, when when I go up there to where my my in laws live, we always go to the Wawa. I love Wawa. I know they're in Jersey and, and Pennsylvania. Love it, love it. Didn't you see my? I made a little a film from Wawa. A film, yeah, it's a film, right? A film. Yeah, yeah, you betcha. <laughs> Probably five biggest, most popular wet shavers. You're my favorite. Oh, budget shaver, you're too kind. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. You guys make it worthwhile. I'm, I wouldn't be out here by myself talking to my to my iPad, you know, if it wasn't for y'all. Can you play Blackbird? Uh, yeah. I get a copyright strike, but mm. I've never met Patrick Swayze. But I was when I was in London. It's, it sounds like I'm name dropping, and I'm not. It just so happens these stories all seem to take place like this. I was walking through the, the theater district, and there were all these people waiting. It was late at night. And this is in the West End in London, and people were, were waiting outside the theater. I was like, what, what's going on? And I went up to this woman, and she said they were waiting for Patrick Swayze. He was, had just done a play, and I guess he was coming out the stage door. So that was as close as I ever got to Patrick Swayze. Did you text Ken? No, I didn't text Ken. <laughs> I don't know if I could find Dennis Quaid. I can't remember what year that was. I wonder if I could do a Google search for... Oh, Randy Quaid. Yeah, I've still got my... Don't have my rings on because I'm doing so much. Johnny Five, good to see you, brother. Um, I've got so, I've been washing my hands so much and my hands are so dry and cracked that like it was like really red underneath, so I've just took them off for the time being. I know, hard, I don't have my wedding ring or my classroom. I haven't gone to school and I'm single all of a sudden. No, not really. I said, what's my favorite shaving soap of all time? And favorite place to visit in Texas? Well, Favorite shaving soap besides Barbasol, you mean? Margaritas in the Arctic, probably. And if you come to Texas, uh, go to San Antonio and then come up to Austin. Do that little area, that corridor between San Antonio and Austin. You'll love it. San Antonio is great. Uh, Austin is is great. I've never met a Baldwin. Top three favorite shaving creams. I I don't know. I'm it's too late for me to 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 make lists. <laughs> I got blisters on my fingers. Hold on. Shiner, Texas. Hey, let me get a guitar. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. OK. 
Okay. All right. I've got my old guitar. This is a cheap hundred dollar. That noise in the background is there's a freeway nearby, and the you don't always hear it, but if the, the temperature is cold and the wind is right, then you can hear it a little bit better. So that's what you're hearing. A freeway that's about a mile that way. Strange, right? in tune. That's the first thing. With the change in the temperature. Take a sip, everybody. Take a sip. Good advice, Mike. This is fascinating, isn't it? Tuning. This is called tuning. It's an old, an old song. I have a little tuner on my headstock. I'm not just doing this by ear. I'm not that good. Be right back, Mike. Oh, it's starting to rain. It rained like crazy today. I mean, like absolute nutty. Okay, Blackbird. I almost set this whole thing up over here where it was, you know, almost. so it's not bothering me. All right, Blackbird. For some reason, whenever I play this song, my mom says it reminds me of the hill country here in Texas. I don't know why. It's Paul McCartney's song. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly I play a little bit of piano. I can't do anything fancy, but I was uh, um, taught myself by watching a bunch of YouTube videos and some online stuff. And kind of bass, I guess. It was the first thing I ever shaved with, a, a terrible um, electric razor when I was about 12. Tour of JFK tour, that I would love to do that, Rob. I'd love it. You play guitars that are electric ones, Gibson Les Paul Standard, oh, with the flame, oh, the iced tea burst, oh my god, I love that, love it. 
The noise in the background? Well, there's like a road over there and then it's raining. It's starting to rain. You're a Spurs fan, Amanda? Amanda's a Spurs fan. That's good. My mom uh, was from San Antonio. Thank you, Cor. Thank you, everyone. Brooks and Dunn. I don't know that one, actually. I don't know any Brooks and Dunn songs. I like to sing. Oh, thanks, Vlad. I, I don't know if I've tried the Kremlin. It's a runner from Tahiti. I've never heard anybody from Tahiti watching one of these before. I had Tahiti and Morocco. That's really cool. Well, I won't back down. Somebody tell me what the chords are to won't back down, and I'll try to sing it. I, don't, I can't look it up. Here's to Tahiti. To take it easy. That's a great one. I can't play Hotel California. I don't know. Take it easy. Uh... Well, I, would, I would have to get the chords. Let's see. I've been running down the road, trying to loosen my load. I can sit in the wind and all that. Right? <laughs> I can't sing too loud because the kids are asleep. Oh, more than words? No, I can't play that one. But that was, man, that was cool. Let's hear an original guitar piece. That was an original one, but... That was just a little goofy thing. From Texas? Where in Texas? How do you... How do you... How do you... How do you relocate to Tahiti? That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Anything country. I could play some Willie. Oh, Wild Horses is great. Oh, your wife is Tahitian. Cool. It's really raining now. I don't know if you can hear that. In the twilight, blue I see Why is it surreal, Don? <laughs> Just because you're you're able to actually talk to me and say, hey, oh.
You know, the simple songs are the best. Three chords and the truth. Any more than three chords and you're showing off, you know? I could do a... It's a long way And then Racina Is a freeway Running through the yard I'm a bad boy Cause I don't even miss her I'm a bad boy Breaking her heart I'm a thief Can't sing real loud Betty, ah, oh, miss that guy. I swear. I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. Anything by Ken Burns is good. Hunter, thank you, man. I don't know that Pixel song, Cold Graphite. I'm gonna put the guitar down for a minute. Just put it over here so it doesn't get wet. Hold on. guarantee that thing will be out of tune by the time I get back. I, you know, I don't know any John Denver. I like John Denver. There's a, it's a, kind of a soft spot in my heart for, for John Denver. But I don't know any of his, uh, how to play any of his songs. I'm, I'm sure it's not too hard, you know. You just got to get yourself, get the chords. That's the beauty of it, right? Just find the chords, then you can play it. Well, good night, Nat Nathaniel. Good night. Cheers, everybody. Drink up and be somebody. I got a little bit left. A little bit of... I don't normally drink doers, but this is all they had. Yep, Neil Young. Can't go wrong with Neil Young. Don't don't know how to play any of his stuff. I, it's one of those things that's like... It's like I, I've forgotten so many songs. You know? Like, I used to be able to play that, and I used to be... And if you don't play them a lot, then you forget them. That's the tragedy of it. Goodbye. Hatim Nadifi, good night. Goodbye, good night. Have a pleasant tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Favorite dip 99? Well, thank you. I'm glad you're a fan. Vince, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, Alex, you sent me a super chat. $2. That, that, that's $2 towards the next bottle of <laughs> scotch. <laughs> thank you, Alex. I know we're going to have to... I'm going to have to put on my mask, put on some rubber gloves, and head to the liquor store. Trox says, what's my favorite music era? Era. Error. <laughs> um, cheers, Joel Diaz. Good to see you up in New York. Um, I like anything. From, you know, I like all kinds. All kinds of decades. Except for the 90s. The 90s is... Except for Tom Petty. I'm not a fan of a lot of the 90s music. But everything else, up until the 80s from like the 40s. I even like jazz from the 30s, right? And the 20s. Just wash those masks. They, I, yeah, well, I, I can't, I don't think you can wash them. I just like, they don't, it doesn't live well on the porous surfaces, so I'm, I've been, you know, it's, I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I don't chew tobacco. Do you? Obviously, your name is Favorite Dip 99. What's your favorite one? I was shocked at how well the stores around here were stocked with alcohol. Isn't that weird? Plenty of alcohol. Uh, but no TP. Got a Nirvana t-shirt. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Enjoying the Osage rub. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Green Day? No, I don't own a Green Day. I'm sure that's only like two or three chords. It's probably not too hard. They're not sanitary. You don't want to know where they're made. Oh, well. I know. I know. Oh, man, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you. That's a good song. Neil Young. Pearl Jam? I used to play. Ne oh, good old Levi Garrett. Man, that's old school. Do I have pit fires once? Well, I do. We had a pit fire in the backyard right over here uh, last weekend. We roasted mar uh, marshmallows, did s'mores. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not into Motley Crue. I mean, you know, 
Do, do they do Don't do nothing But a good time Is that Motley Crue? Don't get better than this Peaceful Easy Feeling Fantastic Love the Eagles Some Pink Floyd I like Yeah grab a drink everybody We're How often do I live stream? Just every now and then Oh that's Poison I don't know I'm an idiot I'm an idiot Thank you Alex Iron Maiden Aerosmith Yeah some Some Aerosmith Some Aerosmith Daryl's House is great I do like Daryl's House That's right. Sometimes I'll turn on a Daryl's House And I'll try to jam along with him Like play some leads or something Khalil Esmail Rate Canada out of 10 Oh it's right up there isn't it Do I like Metallica You know I had my room My first roommate in college Was a huge Metallica fan So I do like some of the That like late 80's Metallica and a lot of people, when I have a goatee, say I look like James Hetfield. Well, thanks, Mike. Thank you for hanging out. Lake of Fire. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Ride the Lightning? Who does Ride the Lightning? Oh, you play bass, Daniel Hughes? Well, thank you, JY. What kind of razor do you like? Senor Pool? Is it Senor? What's up, man? I love Billy Joel Hunter. I love him. Hunter, I mean, not Billy Joel, Hunter. Hunter, I love Billy Joel. Love it. Metallica. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, Ride the Lightning. Sorry. Uh, my roommate always played One by Metallica. By the way, I thought of you when I got my barber shaving Tahiti. Barber razors and things. Cut. Oh, yeah, there you go. Day Tripper's great. I do, I do like Frank Sinatra and Jobim. This is a vintage sweater. This is a 1970s, early 1970s. It's like the dude war in the Big Lebowski. Fender Jazz, can't go wrong with that. I've got a Hoffner Beetle bass. I don't really play bass, but I do have a, a, a genuine German Hoffner bass. Hey, Dominic sent me $2.79 Canadian. Thanks, brother. Cheers to you for the super chat. Precision bass, you can't go wrong with that. Thanks to Alex and to Dominic for the super chats. You don't have to send me any super chats. Save your money for right now. I know we're all hurting. I know I don't know any rats. What are you trying to do, Craig? What are you trying to do? Oasis, uh, you know, I was favorite rat from the pack. Uh, Oasis, I was always so jealous of them because I wanted to be in Oasis. I wanted to be like the next Beatle. So I, 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 I got a love-hate relationship with Oasis. Ace of base. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Big Lebowski, the dude abides. That's what this... You didn't recognize the sweater? This is the dude sweater. Hey, I've uh, got a beverage here, man. Watch out. Stay out of my beach community. Lebowski, you deadbeat. You, what did he call him? Brick. What did he call him? Shit, Brick, I can't remember. Oh! Favorite rat from the pack? Uh, Frank and Dean. Love Frank and Dean. I mean, you know, Sammy. Of course I love. Joey Bishop is my least favorite. Peter Lawford, he's not really. Sharing money is what gives it value. There you go. Wasn't Ringo and Zach the drummer for Oasis? He's 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 uh, um, drumming for the Who. White Russian man. Thank you, Trent. Another two seventy nine Canadian. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, put all this all these super chats towards the next bottle of scotch. Please, no more super chats. No more. <laughs> um, but thank you, Trent. Trent Rockford, 279 Canadian. White Russian. Oh, yeah, I've, I've drunk plenty. I went to Lebowski Fest in 2009. Have you ever heard that? They used to have it. I don't think they have it anymore. But, uh, yeah, the Lebowski Fest. And I dressed up like the dude. I had had this on, had the white, uh, you know, uh, V-neck undershirt underneath. Should we be making car payments if you're stuck in your homes? Good question, Rob B. Yeah, Lex says, drink it a few brews will help kill the virus. I agree. I agree. Drinking some scotch, doing my part. I'm doing my part. Ding! I have done a live shave, Brett's Gaming. It's been a while, but I need to do another one. Favorite brat from the pack? Ooh. I always wanted to be Emilio Estevez because I loved his hair. Um, but Ali Sheedy, oh, such a crush on Ali Sheedy. Oh, so cute. Let's see, start watching your videos in 2014. Whatever I feel sad. Well, that's cool. I love that. Thank you, favorite dip 99. Uh, I have the I have some YouTube videos that are like that. You know, the ones you go back to 
pardon the pun, you dip back into, you know? Like, there's this one guy uh, who has a show called Watch Me Eat. His channel name is Sarcasmosis. It's like sarcasm and then osis, O-S-I-S. And he's got some Christmas videos he made from, uh, from like, like eight, eight years ago that I, every now and then for Christmas, I like dip back in. So I'm glad that I'm, I'm, I'm that for you. That's cool. I, I've done a live, I haven't done a live Q&A, but I've done a Q&A. Did I do it live? I don't think I may have done a Q&A live. Not too long ago. Ali Sheedy in War Games, so cute. My favorite wrestler? <sighs> I used to like to watch wrestling in the 80s. Houston wrestling when I was growing up in Houston, Texas. And Jake the Snake Roberts was there, and the Iron Sheik, and those kind of guys. I don't like any modern wrestlers. I don't really watch wrestling at all, but every now and then I'll like turn it on and like watch. Hunter, $2 Canadian. Thank you, Hunter. Cheers. Is there a menthol shave cream I recommend? Hmm, what's the best menthol shaving cream? Some of them are too menthol y, if that's a word, menthol y. I guess the margarita is in the Arctic, because it's cold. And you can get the glacial, which has even more. Um, so, yeah, margarita in the Arctic, pardon me. I'm trying to, trying to hold out a belch. It's terrible. You're from Indiana, we call them wrestlers. That's right, wrestlers. Favorite Beatles song, Here Comes the Sun? Mine is maybe Don't Let Me Down. I don't know. Dig a Pony, I love that one. Still trying to figure out what somebody would bring a safety razor. <laughs> you know, everyone comments on that, and I don't remember what I said about it. I need to go back and watch that video and see what, exactly what I said. <laughs> the Von Erics. I did watch a... Uh, 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 a little documentary on the Von Erichs recently. Oh my, I had no idea the tragedy. They're more tragic than the Kennedys. Terrible, terrible. Poor things. Chiseled face, that was a little too menthol -y. Motorhead, love Motorhead, love me some Lemmy. Sinatra is the best. Caden Christensen's here, everybody. Caden. Caden is the man. Here's to you, Caden. Caden is one of my biggest fans and has been here since the beginning. Thank you, Caden. Glad you're here. I do like tequila. I like it mixed more. I don't like doing tequila shots. I can't do that. I'm too old. But I love margaritas. Love me some margaritas. Favorite actor? Oh, boy. I love Robert Duvall. Love Robert Duvall. Love Tommy Lee Jones. Love Lonesome Dove. If you guys haven't watched Lonesome Dove, watch it during this quarantine. You will love it. Hopefully. Everybody's asking me my favorite. Favorite of the Three Stooges? Mo, of course. Duh. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, High Games Drifter. You were the one that liked that I mentioned Lemmy. That's right. Did you watch the, the Lemmy documentary? That was fascinating. How he, when he was in L.A. recently before he passed away, he liked to go down to this one bar and play this one, like a video poker game. And if you were a fan of Motorhead or Lemmy, you knew that he was there every single day drinking and playing that game. So now I have a turn it up to 11. Yeah, I'll turn it up to 11. It goes to 11. Why don't you just, you know, make 10 louder? This this goes to 11. None more black. You know, that's none more black. Soul Hat Bone Crusher. There, yeah, Soul Hat. I forgot about that. Wow. Class from the past. Favorite concert I've ever seen? It's got to be Paul McCartney. I've seen him like five times. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to do your hairstyle, but the technique isn't as good as you. Um, I can't remember from your video. Do you have a lot of hair on top, Raphael? I can't remember. You need to have it cut short on the sides and the back, and have it fairly short on the top, like an inch, inch and a half. And then you, when you get out, you put mousse in, and then you do this with it, you know, with a comb or a brush, and then you hairspray it, and it'll start doing this. It'll start sticking up. Goes to 11. You're a curly guy. <laughs> Of course I've heard of Insane Clown Posse. Are you kidding me? Are you a Juggalo? You're a Juggalo, aren't you, Favorite Dip 99? You're in the Juggalo family. You're, you're spraying Fago on everybody, aren't you? Oh, mow your dog. Did we really go to the moon? Of course we went to the moon, Princess Leia. Don't fall for that silly internet 
BS conspiracies. Yes, we went to the moon. And no, the Earth is not flat. Ched Hot, red, Ched Hot Really Peppers. Yeah, I love the Ched Hot Really Peppers. <laughs> Woof. It's only my second drink. This is, I'm a lightweight, my God. Oh, my goodness. What made you start posting videos of Meishi? I'm not sure, Hunter. I don't, I, I think I just started watching some shaving videos and I was like, I could do that. And I did. Let's see, I haven't seen Paul, but I saw The Who last May. You know what? I didn't see the, oops. I didn't see The Who, but I, when I saw Ringo in 1994, John Entwistle, the bass player for The Who, was the bass player for Ringo's band. And uh, Billy Preston was on keyboards. Um, Nils Lofgren was on guitar. Um, I can't remember who else was in the band. It was a really good band that year, 1994. Earth is not flat, Harrison. No, it's not. It's a big sphere. It's a giant sphere. All right, let's see. What else is everybody saying? Oh, thank you. Good night, Cole. Thanks, Cole Powers. Good to see you, brother. There are no chemtrails. No, they're not. There's contrails. You're right. Chemtrails is fake. G-O-F-B-I. Has a how to style. Oh, does he? Favorite 70s TV show. Trent Rockford. Is your favorite The Rockford Five? Might be. Ain't no Juggalo music listener. Okay, good. I just wanted to say Juggalo. <laughs> I'm fascinated by Juggalos, though. They're fascinating. Favorite angel from Charlie's Angels? Uh, duh. Everybody's favorite angel. I'm not even, don't even have to say her name. Watch Like a Hawk Patrol. Thank you, Alex. I saw you timed out somebody earlier. My favorite soda? Coke Zero, probably. Big Red. Dr. Pepper. Regular Coca-Cola in a bottle. Mmm. Good stuff. Oh, you get on the internet, high green games, Richard, there's always some dumb troll. I did some live hangout recently where people were, like, coming up with fake names. Like, say hi to my friend, uh, you know, whatever. And it was, like, some racial slur, but, like, broken up into, like, a name. So if you said it out loud, it turned into a race. It's like, oh, are you kidding me? You've got nothing better to do with your life than this kind of garbage. It's crazy. Let's see. Johnny, I already sang a Beatles song. I sang... Yesterday, no, Blackbird earlier. But uh, uh, rewind it, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. I like coffee better than tea. Do I plan to get a hot towel shave at a barber? Mm, no, I'll just shave myself. <laughs> does it snow in Texas? It does in some parts of Texas. It snowed here this year. Oh, good night, Doug J. 4 a.m. bedtime. Thanks for joining me. Oh, I knew it, Rockford Files. What about Love Boat? 70s? No, terrible. Terrible show. Good night, Larry S. Good night. Favorite decade I've lived in. I had the most fun in the early 2000s. <laughs> but I, my, my fondest memories are the 70s and 80s, of course, when I was a kid. Well, Raphael, keep, keep trying. Keep trying. If you need some help, I'll, I'll try to help you out. A crunchy peanut crunchy. Hello there, a crunchy peanut crunchy. <laughs> These screen names, where do you get them from? I remember when someone asked you who said, did Coke, oh, did Coke. <laughs> Coke Zero, yeah. That's right. I oh, love the Beach Boys. Those, those harmonies, anything with harmonies, like the Everly Brothers, the Beach Boys, the Eagles, oh, the Beatles, of course. Even though you're tired, you have to go to sleep. Oh, even though I am tired and have to go to sleep. Alex? Girl Alex, it's been a long time since we chatted. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you and your husband are staying safe. And I uh, hope you don't have to go to Walmart. Let's see. It's getting cold out there. It's getting a little bit cold. I'm wearing cowboy boots. But they're... See, they're wet. See that? Because there's a little puddle of water from it. rain like crazy here on the porch. Working at the steel mill. Well, thank you, David. You are definitely essential. Trying to start a Texas barbecue restaurant to eat. Do you know how to do barbecue, Cy Lord 87? Because it's just low and slow and low and slow. And you gotta get some of that mesquite. You gotta use Texas mesquite or post oak. Post oak. Sorry. S scratch mesquite. Get some post oak sent to you. Do slow and low and just do salt and pepper rub on the brisket. Trim it right. 
you'll have everybody lining up at your door. Okay. Let's see. Believe it or not, I pumped gas at a gas station for Farrah and Lee Majors. Get out of here, Trent. Oh, you, you got to see Farrah Fawcett in person in the 70s. And Lee Majors, the $6 million man. Are you kidding me? That's great. Motown, fantastic. I loved Quantum Leap. I love anything time travel. Love Quantum Leap when it was on. What's my favorite coffee brand? Um, uh, uh, what's it? It's Gavalia. I think it's pronounced Gavalia. The house blend, and I put equal one packet of equal and half and half in it. Hey, Chops NC, is that North Carolina? I'm 49 years old. Favorite dip 99. Thank you, anonymous user. Favorite Oasis song? I don't know. Dog, wait, dog, blog, sock talk, Sam. Dog, blog, sock talk, Sam. I say it a dog. I don't know. I don't have a favorite Oasis song. My favorite beer, I don't have a favorite beer necessarily. I like anything dark, though. Dark porters. Uh, actually, maybe 512 Pecan Porter might be my favorite. 512 Brewery, or it's a local brewery, Pecan Porter. When I think of the 80s, I think of Michael J. Fox. Me too. You, you made a shaving video for Facebook Live. Well, good. Good for you, Chops NC. Does a straight razor shave feel better than any other shave? No, it doesn't, Khalil. It doesn't. It's harder, and it's not as smooth. A safety razor is the way to go for me, for me. And I had somebody hone and sharpen my razor, like a guy who is an expert at it, and he sent it back to me, and it's still, it, 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 you're, the whole time you're doing it, you're nervous, and I know if you do it enough, you won't be nervous, but it's, no, it doesn't. I know it seems like it would, but it doesn't. Safety razor is the most comfortable shave, honest to goodness. We got snow here over Christmas, that's cool. Had a shave from Barber. Barber shaves are overpriced, probably. I bought my cow brought your cowboy boots with you to Tahiti. Okay, good. You make a good brisket. There you go. Uh, Alex is working at Walmart in Chicago area. He worked there at the Total Zoo. Fortunately, people don't care and can't survive one day without shopping. I know. And they probably bring their old family, right? I know. Good. Your grandfather taught you well, then, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. We're talking about slow smoking barbecue, Paul of New York. Slow smoking, not just grilling. Do you have the uh, Don B. Your smokers that have the offset smoking, like the small smoke box over here, and then put the meat over here? Barber shavers are rated. Did you watch sliders? I never did. I was never into sliders. Let's see. Any thoughts on classical music? I love to put it on when I just want. You know, just a nice thing to listen to in the background. Favorite Star Wars movie? The original 1977 Star Wars. Rocky or Terminator? Terminator. Shirley Bassey. I'm not familiar with Shirley Bassey, Raphael. What you sipping on there? I'm sipping on a little bit of Coke Zero and Scotchettini. So Coke Zero and Scotch. Scotch and Coke. It's a Beatle drink. The Beatles love to drink scotch and Coke, and I developed a taste for it. Every now and then, it's something I'll do. Not very often. Uh, let's see. How old were I when I got into wet shaving? Well, I've always, I guess, wet shaved, like with, you know, Barbasol and a razor since I was a kid. Since I was like 13 or something. <laughs> I don't want to be present. Too much, too much pressure. Too much pressure. Oh, thank you, 320KD, 320CAD. Thanks, brother. You stay awesome yourself. I know, you haven't shaved in three days? Do it. Slider sandwiches. You mean like burgers? A crunchy peanut crunchy message retracted. Oh, who didn't have fair on their wall? You know who I had on my wall? I had Christy Brinkley and Morgan Fairchild in the 80s. Brewers is nice. It's not my favorite, but it's the only thing they had in the giant bottle. Favorite Sinatra song? I can't. I couldn't say. I love too many of them. Favorite Back to the Future movie? All three. <laughs> but the original one, of course. Hitchhikers or Doctor Who? Hitchhikers. What all accents can I do? I can't do any accents. I'm just kidding. I'm just not going to do it right now. <laughs> do I like cigars? I, I'm more... Uh, the thing, the reason why I don't like cigars very much is because the next morning I can still taste it and it makes me like sick. I'm like, bleh. 
Bring us some Weller 12. There you go. Little child, little child, little child, won't you dance with me? Doing some Beatles there. Dollar Shave Club, and I was thinking, tell them about my suit. Yeah, you should. Craig, 1974. Walking Dead, no. I wanted to see more zombies and less interpersonal relationship stuff, and so it lost me. I just wanted to see zombies. I just want to, I'm a simple man. Just give me some zombie killing. Like, oh my god, here comes a zombie. Oh no, they, then you get to the real deep interpersonal relationship working. Totally politically incorrect. Scotch and Coke. It's, it's just doers, though. It's just doers. It's not a single malt. You can mix this with whatever you want. So it's okay. It's okay. You like the blues? I do love the blues. Three Kings, yeah. You got BB, Albert, and. Who's the third king? Scrolling through as I, as I answer these. <clears throat> Look, we got 69 thumbs up, dude. 69, dude. Okay. Best safety razor, the the one you like the best. My favorite Rockwell and the Fat Boy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Suzanne Summers. She's never my type. Never my type. Beautiful, but never my type. <laughs> Whiskey and Coke. It is rainy. It rained like crazy today, Chingo. It rained like crazy. It's, it's raining right now. Paul Weller or Peter Frampton? I love Peter Frampton. He seems like a nice guy. And I don't listen to much of Paul Weller, so I, I can't say. I can't say. Let's see. Carol King. Yeah, Carol King. <laughs> That's it. BB King, Albert King, Carol King. Those are the three kings. Oh man, it's cold out here. My nose is cold. Oh man. <clears throat> Freddie King, thank you. Freddie King, thank you very much. Not Carol King. <laughs> uh, when it comes to beautiful women from the 80s, Demi Moore. Uh, well, Demi Moore. Um, or, um, uh, 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 God, God, the girl, Weird Science. The woman in Weird Science. Oh my God, Billie Jean King. <laughs> the, the Five Kings. <laughs> um, Kelly LeBrock. Kelly LeBrock. Ooh. See my breath. Joe Bonamassa. I love his YouTube videos. I'm not big on his music, but I love him as a person. And BB Gates. <laughs> but I love his music videos when he talks about guitars. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not a big fan of his music, but love, love, love his knowledge and his personality. Billie Jean King. Favorite state to visit besides Texas? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can't play any Queen songs. Lord Gamadon Cargon. I can't sleep tonight. Ended up here. Well, good to have you, Lord. LGK. Can I call you LG? What age did I start shaving? I think I was 12 or 13. She's wonderful. Search her singing My Way from Frank Sinatra. And sorry, because oh, you're going to sleep. Good night, Raphael. Good night, my friend. Good luck with your hair. Can I end the stream with a song later? Yeah, I could end the stream with a song. How long are we going? We're going for an hour and twenty-eight minutes. Hour and a half, almost. I've been drinking my scotch. I should probably not have any more than this. Two is about my limit now. I'm not sure what I should play though. Uh, I don't remember, Khalil. I don't remember. One of those rare Americans who can semi-good pronounce my name. <laughs> Lord Gamadon Cargon. Favorite watch? That's well, not the Apple Watch. I'm kind of annoyed with it. Traveling Wilburys love traveling Wilburys. I don't know any off the top of my head though. I'd have to get my guitar case with all the chords in it, you know. Ugh. Who got me into wet shaving? You mean like shaving with a safety razor? Just watching YouTube videos like Geo Fat Boys and uh, uh, and those types. Um, uh, who's the other fella? Uh, gosh, Mantic Fifty Nine. You're one of the first people who said my name correctly, Khalil. Well, good. I see you're a man of high class. I'm, a, yeah, I'm extremely high class, Nathaniel. Extremely, extremely. Yeah, Shave Nation. Squiggly keeps asking bar soap or body wash. Bar soap. Bar soap. 
Chomps NC says, my dad taught me to shave with a safety razor. That's the best way to do it. Uh, I learned from YouTube. Man, I said it, but then I think I'm in quarantine. I'll stay with my friends, so I'm still here. <laughs> there you go. You should go to bed. Go to bed. I know it's late. Well, in Brazil, it's not that late, is it? Same same time as here, right? 10, 15 p.m.? Liv Tyler, Kate Winslet, Ashley Judd. There you, the 90s women. There you go. I don't know carry on, wayward son. The temperature right now, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. 48. I would more than like a cinnamon spicy one of the white dial. Cinnamon, what's that one? Top three vendors to order safety razors and aftershaves. West Coast shaving. Um, that's the only one I really use. Executive-shaving.co.uk if you're in Europe, because they're my partners now. My favorite cologne, yes, Dracar Noir, exactly. exactly. Oh, it's so. Oh, it's midnight. It's after midnight. Okay, Rocco. So you're two hours ahead. I'm the opposite. I'm teaching my dad how to shave. I know, isn't that weird? Oh, your dad is 44. I'm older than your dad. Oh, I'm so old. I love Shave Nation. Shave Nation is great. Yeah, Geo Fat Boy is great. James Taylor is fantastic. After shave. Um, I never used Eternity. I used Obsession for men for a while back in the 80s and early 90s. I wonder if the wives of the shaving enthusiasts on YouTube get annoyed if their husbands talk about shaving too much. I don't ever talk about shaving with my wife. <laughs> I like fishing. No, you know, I never was big into fishing, but I'll tell you what, my youngest son is obsessed with fishing. Loves it. My brother, obsessed. I know, I'm glad there's not a uh, favorite dip 99. I'm glad there's not like some weird trolls. Like, there only one time, only one time ever in a hangout was there anybody that was trying to get me to uh, like fool me into saying things that were like, you know, you know, offensive. It was weird. It was weird. I don't ride motorcycles. No, no, no. That's too dangerous. Too dangerous for me. Too dangerous for me. You going to bed, squiggly pants? No, squ not squiggly pants. Squiggly. How do you pronounce that? Squiggly Atoll 01 Toxics. Good night, Squiggly. I'm just gonna call you Squiggly. Good night, Squigs. Dead flowers. Oh my God, I love dead flowers. I Every Tuesday at my gig, at my Beatles acoustic gig with my friends, we end with dead flowers. That's what I should end with. Yes, dead flowers. Yeah, hey, Khalil, shaving is fine if, if you're 14, if you're 13, if you're 12. If you've got facial hair and you want to shave it, go for it, dude. How did your wife react the first couple times you made shave videos? I think I just started making them, and she didn't know about them. I just didn't talk about them. She doesn't care. She's like, whatever. <laughs> she cares about me, but not my video. Squiggly fans, I know. Well, coming from you, dog blog sock talk Sam. Another great screen name. You should absolutely record a video right after this with another one of your awesome piano. No, everybody's asleep inside. At least the kids are. How do I eat my steak with my with my mouth? How 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 often? In sweet quorum, I'm not sure. My favorite snacks: potato chips, tortilla chips, vintage watches. No, I'm not into vintage watches. I appreciate anything vintage, though. But I'm not, I wouldn't say you know, I'm into them. I don't remember, anonymous user, when my beard started developing. Your son's 15 and can grow a full beard if they let him. <laughs> Greetings, Laredo. Good old Laredo. Andrew performed Dead Flowers. You realize the lyrics about heroin? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yep. With a needle and a spoon and another girl to take my pain away. Geo Fat Boys Mary, that's good. He's only 80 powerhouse. Frags, I love that. I know, I was kidding, Paul O'Neill. That's a joke. No, I'm still doing it, still going to work. I went to work twice today, Brendan. Still doing it. I'm essential. I am essential. Uh, there is no state tax, uh, and there's no income tax in Texas, Griff. I don't have a favorite state temperature. Probably medium. Medium rare, something like that. Rolex. You gotta have that Rolex. Roly, roly, roly with a dab of ranch. <laughs> I'll tell you what, kids. We've been going for what? Hour and a half. It's rainy out here. Pozole or menudo? Definitely not menudo. Oh, can't do it. Can't do that. Can't do that stomach, man. Can't do it. I'll eat barbacoa all day long, though. Good evening, GB Track. Good to see you. 
Jean Gone says Manula. <laughs> well, they're two different things, though. Pasoli and Manula are so different. The oldest item I own, my wife. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> that was a bad. That was like a Henny Youngman joke. Um, the oldest item I own is probably I have an old uh, Colt double action pistol. You know, an old cowboy gun from night that was uh, made in 1902. I'm, I'm trying to think if that's the oldest thing I own. It's an old double action Colt Lightning, a 38 caliber. caliber um, it was Billy the Kid's favorite pistol. That might be it. I knew there was a reason to feel drawn to Texas. <laughs> it is not hot in Austin right now, Tristan. It's 40, It's cold. It's 48. 48 degrees. Girl Alex says no menudo, menudo for her either. <laughs> Chops NC made taquitos last night. I'm getting kind of hungry. I haven't eaten dinner. What time is it? Oh, I had a little snack around dinner time, but not... Uh, uh, ZZ Top High Green Street. That was my first live uh, uh, concert I ever saw. It was ZZ Top back in 1985, August 27th or August 26th, 1985. Yeah, my first show, and I still have the ZZ keychain that I bought for five bucks at the time. I was like, oh, five dollars is so much, but I gotta have it. It's just like in their videos, and I still have it. Right. Yeah, cold front, and all right, Chingon's down in San Antonio. That's right. I do post singing guitar videos, Andrew. Look back. Look back a couple of days. This past two weeks, I've done like four of them. It was good, High Games Drifter. It was good. Um, Harry Shave. If you like cartridge razors, I guess they're fine. But you don't need Harry's if you got a safety razor and a good brush and a good shaving soap. You don't need Dollar Shave Club. You don't need Harry's. You got everything right there. You could buy a, a sleeve of a hundred razor blades that'll last you years. So, Breaking Bad, one of the best, oh, one of the best shows ever. I actually went on a Breaking Bad tour of my own. I found where Walter White's house was when I went to Albuquerque. I went to Lo, uh, Los Pollos Hermanos, uh, which is an, actually a Mexican place, a uh, burrito place. Uh, I went to the car wash. Love Breaking Bad. Good night, Alex. Girl Alex is going to bed. Good night, girl Alex. She's one of the best. You guys, give a shout out to girl Alex. Menudo during a hangover. I hear that menudo in a hangover is good. My grandfather used to love to eat menudo. That's right. Frank Sinatra loved something. It, it, the only the bad thing was, you know, George Harrison wrote it and he said, this is one of my favorite Lennon McCartney songs. Close enough. No, I've not done a guitar collection video. Don't you? Don't be. Uh, safety razors are easy. Uh, Jay's beers. Um, just go lightly, and it's like anything. And I guarantee you'll have a better shave than with a cartridge razor. I guarantee it. It's not hard. It's not scary. Shave brush review. Uh, well, I'm going to be talking about all those shaving brushes that that they sent me from DS Cosmetics. I'm not really into watches, Tim, yes. Somebody was asking me about vintage watches earlier. Uh, I, do, I do love watching, there's this guy, uh, this British producer guy who buys like $800,000 worth of watches. And I love watching his channel. You know what I'm talking about? If you're into watches, you probably know who he is. He's on YouTube, fascinating guy. I love watching that. Let's see. Better Call Saul is good. Not as good as Breaking Bad, but still good. You should go eat dinner and sleep. Oh, you me, me, I'm supposed to go eat dinner and sleep. I'm not into wood splitting. No, I've never, never uh, done any wood splitting, Julio. Sold most of my guns to buy music equipment. Sure, why not? Keep one, keep one gun on hand, you know, just for personal protection. I've got a few pistols. Like, all the, the pistols in, uh, I own are like, older than, you know, 1911. <laughs> like, I like the Old West kind of stuff. Nothing new for me. I swear, even when it comes to pistols. John Mayer is seriously into watches. Yeah, there you go. John Mayer is also seriously into Jennifer Aniston and every other beautiful Hollywood starlet. That son of a gun. Son of a Gunderson. 
And Mike Wallace says, like any hobby, I jump in with two feet. I want all the safety razors, all the brushes. It's a, yeah, it's a tough thing to do. I don't have any flintlock pistols, no. I do have a Civil War era reproduction pistol, so cap and ball. Good evening, and why? I'm doing well, I'm a little cold. I'm about to end this, because it's been an hour and 40 minutes, and I'm outside and it's raining and it's kind of cold here. And yes, 48 degrees here in Texas is cold, Fahrenheit. No, I'm not gonna say anything, <laughs> I'm not gonna get drunk. Producer, yeah, Michelle, is that his name? Yes, 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 that's it, that's right, Jacob and Company. Yep, Tim, yes, that's exactly right, fascinating. And that guy, that Jacob and Company guy, I really like him, he seemed like a good guy, a straight shooter. Well, thank you, Raphael, my friend. Ooh, Wesley, ooh. Jennifer Aniston used to be my, one of my favorites. I have no idea, I've never used an AR-15. I'm not into the modern weapon. Recommendation for your first safety razor? A Merker 34C. That's what I always recommend. See? There you go. And why? I already knew. Really? In Ohio, it's only 41? Why is it so cold in here? Down here. Oh, you ate belot? Oh, disgusting. You guys know what belot is? It's the duck egg that has partially started to grow a duck inside. And oh, belot. Chingon would try belot. Oh, you would try belot and, and menudo at the same time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and head out. You know, Craig, I am too. I'm gonna end this with something. Um, you don't need to get that sick, sir. I <laughs> understand. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end this with a song. The song that uh, my, my pals and I do every Tuesday, except for the past three, because it's been canceled, and who knows when it'll start again. Uh, a Rolling Stones song called Dead Flowers Alone. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. I'm getting too old to be squatting in a chair for two hours, leaning over into an iPad. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Let me put my hat on for this. I put on my old... This is the cowboy hat that I used to wear when I would do cowboy uh, shootout reenactments back in college. I used to do like Old West comedy reenactment shootouts, you know? That was fun.
folks. I want to thank y'all for joining me tonight. It's been a real pleasure. Good to see you, girl Alex. I want everybody to comment so that I can give you a proper send-off. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you all are staying safe. I hope you're healthy. I hope your families are healthy. Um, all of you are my friends, even if I don't know you in real life, I know you, okay? So, all right, so we got, we got Green, good night, Green. Good night, Pastor Rafael Leo Santos, my friend down in Brazil. We got Chops NC, we got Alex, good night, girl, Alex. Vance's how-tos and reviews, Danny K, Don B, good night. Good night, Jay's Beers from Tampa. Good night, everybody. Good night to you all. Good night, Andrew Hogs or Hags. Good night, Andrew. Good night, GB Track. Good night, Khalil Asmail. Good night, Anonymous User. Good night, Brendan Schaefer. Good night, American Street. Good night, High, Green, High Gains Drifter. High Gains Drifter. Apur Padier. Good night. Paul O'Neill. <laughs> Buenas noches. Good night, Chingon. Good night, Johnny Tecillo. Good night, Dog Blog Sock Talk Sam. <laughs> and everybody, thanks to you all. Good night, Logini TV. Thanks, everybody. I will see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourself and others, and I'll see you then. Bye.